guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are reviewing the new Desi Katie Dose of Colors Friendcation Collection, which I'm so super, super, super stoked about because these two are my favorite YouTubers of all time. They're hilarious, they're super funny, genuine, and not to mention they completely slay makeup. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys a review and my thoughts so far of the collection. And then I've also included a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now in the video. So I will be sure to leave a timestamp of that right here. So that way you can skip ahead if you already know how you feel about the products and just wanna see a fun way to use them. If you want to hear my thoughts about the collection so far, then just keep watching. Alrighty, so although I did play with the collection already, I kind of wanted to give you guys an actual first impressions and do kind of an unboxing with you. So when I ordered the collection, first of all, I ordered everything. I ordered the complete set online. You could buy it all. Um, I believe the price was a little bit lower than if you purchased each item individually. Um, I wanna say it was $218 for everything, which actually is pretty good value because you get numerous lip colors, a whole eyeshadow palette, and two highlighters. So this is how it arrived to my door in this kind of nude dose of colors box. So then you go ahead and pull it open like so. And then this is what the inside looks like. It says Desi Katie here in the lid, super cute. And then you actually get a card that is like the friendcation card. They look beautiful on here, so cute. And then they wrote you a little message on the back. It's pre-printed, it's not like a handwritten message, but it's still really cute. Um, and then you actually get stickers, which is adorable. That was just like a really cute touch, I thought. And then you just get the typical like dose of colors card in there as well. So you get this nude tissue paper and then all of your products inside. So this did come with extra bubble wrap, but I did take it out because when I first received this, the first thing I did was open every single thing to make sure nothing was broken um, because there's nothing worse than going to do your makeup with a product you're really excited about and the eyeshadow or the highlighter is completely crushed. So like I said, I got the full collection. So um, it's two liquid velvets, which are new for me at least from Dose of Colors. I've never tried those before. And then you get two bullet lipsticks, and then you also get the two lip toppers, and you get your two highlighters here, as well as the actual eyeshadow palette. So I wanna start by talking about the eyeshadow palette because this is what everyone is raving about. I'll let you know how much this costs individually right here. This is what it looks like, really pretty rose gold packaging, friendcation, Desi Katie. So you open it up and I just, this is like a collector's piece to me because their packaging is always so unique and just so beautiful. Um, so it's this gorgeous rose gold sparkly. It has a similar texture as their last collection. It's not gonna come off on your hands or anything. Um, it's kind of like a, a cloth material maybe, um, but it's metallic, it's beautiful, so pretty. You get 10 shades. I mean, these are just absolutely stunning. Um, so you get five mattes and five shimmers. Although these shimmers, I would say, are almost like a pressed glitter. I don't think they're a shimmer eyeshadow, to be completely honest, um, because in like the I Love Sari collection, um, there were shimmer shadows in that one and they weren't nearly as pearlescent or as foiled as these are. So these are definitely beautiful. I really love these. There's so many options that you can do with this. Um, you have some kind of cool tone mattes here, but then you also have warm tone mattes here. You have some really nice pops of color here. You can go all matte. You can do a smoky eye with this black here. I wanna go ahead and swatch some of these for you on camera. So we will start with basic, which is this shade here. And I really just appreciate them having this in here because I'm always kicking myself in palettes. They don't have a cream color to set my eye or as a brow bone highlight. So this is just like a really nice bone shade, nothing too exciting there, but you can see it right here. Um, really creamy so far, they feel so soft, really finely milled, I mean, really great quality shadows. So then we're going to go into the shade Cheens, which is the darkest brown. And these are just incredibly pigmented. Now I want to go into Necessary, which is funny because it's a transition shade, super necessary. 
Um, this one's really pretty. I like this. It's really neutral tone. Doesn't lean too cool or too warm. That's it right there. We're going to go into churro, which is this like milk chocolate brown here. And I'm going to place this on the other side of jeans just so you can see the difference. That's it right there. And finally, we're going to go into the shade Girl Buy, which is this cranberry shade here. And I will place that right here as well. So it does have kind of a reddish pigment to it, but again, still really natural, still really wearable, nothing too crazy. So now I wanna go in and play with the foil shade. We will start right here in the shade Try Me, which is actually what I have on my eyelid. That's what one swipe of Try Me looks like. Super, super pigmented. Now I'm going to go into this shade Just a Kiss. Which actually looks pinky kind of shell colored in the pan but it does reflect gold it's a really really unique shade game over which is a black that actually reflects some gold and some bluish tones so now I'm going to go into dirty money which is this kind of greenish gold um, it's again a super unique shade not necessarily olive but kind of I don't know it's crazy it's such a pretty color. I can see myself using this quite often in fall. This is just really, really pretty. A moment right here, this blue. That definitely is like a duochrome and leans very purple. I mean, like, look at that. That's insane. One swipe. And there it is. As you can see, it leans really purple and then is kind of like a royal blue. So when you swatch these glitters on the hand, I don't want to say they're a pressed glitter because they're not chunky at all. They just look so foiled and beautiful. They're, the texture is so creamy and pigmented. So they're not chunky like a glitter, but they are kind of pressed very softly in the pan. They're very creamy, soft shadows. Before we move on to lip colors, I want to swatch the highlighters. So we have two of them. We have Fuego, which they came out last time and they brought back, which is awesome because I know so many people love this highlighter. And then we have Chasing the Sun. So again, same really beautiful packaging. So this is what Fuego looks like and this is Chasing the Sun. So next to each other, they're very, very similar, but Fuego is a little bit lighter than Chasing the Sun. Here is a swatch of Fuego. It's right there, a very gold, kind of just your basic gold highlight, but still so beautiful and so wearable on so many different skin tones. Really, really pretty. And then Chasing the Sun is right here next to it. So this one I would almost say leans a little bit more of like an orangey rose gold and this is definitely a true gold here in Fuego. So moving in to the lip colors, I want to start with the liquid velvets because like I said I'm really excited about this formula. I have it on right now. Super soft, super comfortable. I really love them already. So when you pull it out of the box they have this nude tube with a rose gold top. The only issue I have with this is you have to definitely look at the bottom for what color it is or you have to unscrew the top and actually look inside. It's not like the usual dose of colors um, liquid lips where you can kind of see the color inside. So this is my main here. And this color is so beautiful for fall. It's kind of like a peachy terracotta sienna rust color, but still really subdued and wearable. And then we have a mauve story, which is actually the shade I have on, as if you can see it, which is actually the shade I have on my lips right now. Um, so you can see what it looks like when it dries down. That's a mauve story here. Definitely a cooler, no, uh, it's definitely cooler than um, my main but it is still pretty warm, a nice, really natural looking nude. I see this as being my go-to for sure. Like this is just my kind of color. They do dry matte, as you can see on my lips. Really comfortable formula, not sticky at all. Um, let's see if it's kiss proof. So it does transfer a little bit, as you can see right here, but nothing too crazy. 
I mean, it is what it is. That's what you get with a liquid velvet. I do recommend pairing a lip liner underneath. So that way, if it does come off a little bit, you have a second layer of color there. Moving on to their bullet lipsticks. I have two of them. I have Aftermath and I have Hey Girl. So we'll go in with Aftermath first. And these are just like the regular bullet lipsticks. Again, in this super beautiful matte nude packaging. This is mm, Aftermath. Again, a such a pretty nude. This is a really pretty fall color. Again, it's a little bit darker than my main, but still kind of in that color family, a beautiful rust. So pretty. These were really creamy and pigmented, and they are kind of more of a matte than a cream or a shimmer. Next, I'm going to go in with Hey Girl, which is a really pretty nude. This almost reminds me of Velvet Teddy by MAC but a little bit peachier. So this is Hey Girl down here. They're just so wearable and you can really see that they kept people, like everyone in mind when creating this collection. And finally, we have our two lip toppers. We have Over the Top, which they brought back, and then The Most, which is their new shade. So we're gonna go in with Over the Top first. And over the top looks like a typical gloss. It's really gold um, and you can obviously see it here, the clear packaging with the rose gold top. I like this so I can see which color I'm grabbing. So this is over the top here, a clear gloss with really pretty gold flecks in it. Um, not chunky sparkles, but definitely a little bit of gold shimmer in there. And then the most is also a clear gloss but instead it reflects kind of bluish, pinkish iridescence. Um, it has some really interesting dimension to it. Yeah, this definitely reflects pink. So there it is down there. You can see this one's definitely warmer and this one's definitely reflecting cooler there. So I like that both of their lip toppers can be paired with different combinations that you create out of the eyeshadow palette. Um, you have kind of a bluer or pink um, reflecting lip topper if you want to do like blue or pink eyeshadow to kind of go with that on top of a nude lip. And then you have the gold if you want to go in with dirty money or if you want to just do a flat matte eye. There's so many combinations and they really thought through how to use the collection as a whole and how to use every single product, not just onesies or twosies. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial for this look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I did film the entire tutorial, starting with my base, foundation, all that stuff. Um, so it is a complete tutorial, not just using the eye products and the lip products. So yeah, you got a complete look here. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, with the Desi Katie Dose of Colors Friendcation collection, then go ahead and just keep watching. All right, to start this full face tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin first, and I'm gonna use the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I've used this in a video before, I really like this primer, and I'm only gonna use a tiny bit, um, just to cover kind of my T-zone. On top of that, we are going to go in with the Farsali Jelly Beam Illuminator, and this is in the shade Glaze. If you don't know, this is a jelly highlighter. It's a really interesting consistency, and I actually like to use this, obviously, as a highlighter, but also as kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's like, I like to use this not only as a highlighter, but also as kind of like illuminating base. So I'm just taking a MAC 188 kind of, um, dual fiber stippling kind of brush and I'm just gonna dunk into that a little bit and I'm just gonna swipe a little bit on my face I'm just gonna kind of swirl this around my face going in circles just buffing it into the skin now I'm going to go in with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Um, I literally just did a review on this and I'm obsessed with it. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave it down below. I'm just going to take that on a clean beauty blender that actually matches my shirt. Um, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit out on my hand. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with my, my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade celestial these have kind of a pinky undertone to them 
and I'm going to mix that in to my foundation. I'm gonna do a decent amount, like two, two healthy drops. Um, so that is going to create kind of an illuminating foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my face. Um, I'm now going to go in with concealer and I'm just taking my KKW Beauty um, concealer in the shade 2 and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my under eyes and I'm going to highlight with it as well just in like the usual spots and I'm placing this on my eyelid as well to create um, kind of an eyelid primer. Taking the clean side of my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that out. So before my under eyes crease, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty uh, number one brightening powder. I'm just going to tap this under my eyes. And I'm using a MAC 127 brush. I'm actually going to place this powder in my T-zone as well, wherever I place the concealer, to give that brightened, lifting effect. Now to set my whole face, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. Um, this is a little bit of a tint to it, um, but I'm just gonna take that on a big fluffy powder brush and just tap this into the skin. So now that we're all set, I actually want to move on to the eye look. Um, so I'm taking the Friendcation palette. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited. This is beautiful. I mean, just like this packaging is stunning. It's so sparkly and pretty. First things first, as per usual, I'm going to go into the shade Basic here, and I'm going to use this to set my eye. And Basic is a very white neutral shade, but it does have a pink undertone to it. So now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and go into the shade Necessary which is this taupey brown here as my transition. And I'm just going to place this in the crease using windshield wiper motions. And I'm going from inner corner to outer corner. So now our transition shade is blended. We're going to go in with our next crease shade, which is churro here, this kind of milk chocolatey brown. And we're also going to place that in the crease from inner corner to outer corner, but I'm going to drag it in my outer corner and inner corner a little bit. And it's okay if you get this on your eyelid because we are gonna go in and clean up. And I'm just focusing in the outer corner, I'm really rounding it out. I don't want any harsh lines in this look. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color and I am going to pull it in my outer crease a little bit and I'm just patting it here. And then the same thing on the inner corner. Like so, so the center of the lid should be blank. We are going to create kind of that halo eye effect. So next up for our crease shade to continue building, I want to go into the shade Girl By. I thought it read By Girl. So I'm going to just take that on another precision blending brush. This one is a little bit more pointed and I'm just placing it again in the crease. But this time I'm going to place it also on the inner corner as well. Just to warm it up a little bit. As you can see, I'm just really mapping out that shape that I want. So now we're gonna go in with our deepest shade, which is Cheens. 
this dark chocolatey brown here um, and we're gonna take that on our most precise blending brush and we're really just gonna carve out the crease keeping this really low because we want to create almost a cut crease effect and again we're going to take that in the outer corner and in the inner corner Continuing to maintain that halo effect. So before we move on to our lid color, I kind of want to just clean up the crease a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Churro here. I'm taking a more flat blending brush um, to kind of just clean this up here and blend it all seamlessly. I want to kind of carve out the lid with a little bit more concealer so I am going to take a really precise um, this is actually a lip brush but I'm going to just take a little bit off my wand and I just want to kind of clean it up a little bit So for our lid color, I want to take the color Try Me, which is this kind of like pink shimmery like berry color here. And I'm going to take that on just a flat kind of like concealer shader brush first. Um, this shadow is really soft. I want to see how it sticks without a glitter glue or Fix Plus or anything like that. So I'm just placing that exactly where I put the concealer. not be the right brush for it. All right, I'm gonna go in with a natural hair brush. I think the synthetic was having a hard time picking up. Yeah. The natural hair is definitely much better. I'm gonna try my finger. All right, finger is the way to go, people. Wow, super pretty. It's just hard with your finger because it's not nearly as precise, but for that I will go in with the shader brush. But to just pack on the color, the finger makes it super easy. And I'm just gonna start blending that into those brown shades. So I just went ahead and repeated that on the other eye. Um, these shadows are so creamy, buttery, pigmented that it just made it so easy to just, just tap it on with my finger and it was good to go. So I'm seeing that this isn't quite as bright and popping as I want it to be just because the, the color itself is a little bit darker and it kind of matches the crease shade. So I am going to go in with the shade Just a Kiss. And this looks a little bit chunky. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try it on my finger again. I'm using my ring finger and I'm going to just right in the center just pop that just to kind of give the eye a little bit more dimension. So now I want to start working on my lower lash line and I'm going to just take a brown cold pencil and I'm going to put this in my lower lash line. So to smoke this out I'm going to go back into Cheens, this dark brown here, and I'm just taking a flat um, liner brush and I'm going to pack this on as close to the lash line as I can.
So now taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go into Girl By, this reddish shade, and I'm going to just go ahead and blend that out. So we maintain some of the pink on the lower lash line as well. Before we apply mascara and false lashes, I want to do our inner corner highlight. And so I'm going to go back in with just a kiss here and I'm using another precise brush and I'm just going to squirt this with some Fix Plus. We're going to like pack this onto our inner corner. And I'm finding with this shade, you definitely have to pat, not swipe. Alrighty, so eyes are done. If you're wondering, I am wearing um, Eyelore Lashes, the Lux Silk um, Marquee ones. They look like this. They're from the drugstore, super affordable, and they're like faux, faux silk, Lux Silk. They're really comfortable, actually, and I really love the way they complement this eye look. So now I want to go ahead and move on to our face makeup. So I'm going to bronze quickly and I'm going in with my Anastasia powder bronzer in the shade Rosewood and I'm going to use a really, really, really light hand with this because it is pretty dark for me at the moment, but I'm just going to quickly bronze up a little bit, add some life back into the skin. So to carve out our cheekbones and add a little bit, add a little bit of contour, I'm gonna go in with my Tardis Pro Glow um, palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Sculpt right here. Um, it's a nice light contour shade, which is perfect because I'm a little bit fair right now. And I'm just going to use little circles going back and forth to kind of carve out my cheekbones. So I'm just gonna quickly bake my contour really quickly, taking my beauty blender. I'm just going to just sharpen it a little bit. And I'm actually gonna wipe the bake off right away because I don't wanna be too matte. For blush, I'm gonna go in with MAC Breath of Plum. And I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny amount of this on a rounded blush brush. Um, just a little bit. Instead of using the highlight as a highlight, I actually want to use it as a blush chopper. As a blush topper because Chasing the Sun, which is the one I want to use right now, um, is way too dark for me to use as a highlight at the moment. So this is what it looks like. It's really bronzy, gold, beautiful. Um, so I actually want to top my blush with this to add some glow back into my face. So I'm just taking an angled blush brush and dipping in here, tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to lightly swipe that and it's going to give us a really pretty glow. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with Laura Geller Diamond Dust, the baked gelato swirl. It looks like this. It has like a pinky iridescence to it. And I'm just going to take that on my usual Anastasia A23 brush. And I'm just going to pop this on the high points of my cheek. For a nice pinky glow. And I'm going to hit my nose again a little bit. points on my forehead like so so to set my makeup I'm gonna go in with my iconic London prep set glow spray um, and this is I don't know which shade this is but they have like a gold shade and this is like the rose gold shade um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up really well because the shimmer will settle at the bottom and I'm just going to set my makeup Gonna go ahead and move on to lips. I'm going in with Urban Decay Stark Naked and that's what I'm going to use to line my lips. So 
So I thought that these were liquid lipsticks in their collection, but they are actually a liquid velvet. It's a different formula that I've actually never tried from Dose of Colors before. Um, and this is in the shade A Mauve Story. It has, again, the really pretty nude packaging. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right on top. So this is going to conclude the tutorial using the new Desi Katie uh, Dose of Colors Friendcation collection. Um, I have to say, I am absolutely obsessed with the way this came out. I really love this look. It's so pretty. It's so girly and fun, but still kind of, you know, it still kind of has that sultry vibe because you do have kind of a smoky eye and a nude lip. All in all, all the products were a success for me. This liquid velvet dried to such a comfortable formula. I'm really, really happy with it. It matched the lip liner that I used perfectly. So I'm really excited that I found that combination. Um, like I said, I love the way the eyes came out. They're super fun, super flirty and pretty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this collection. I'm really glad that I purchased everything so far. I love it all. I'm definitely going to be playing with this palette some more. There's some really unique looks that you can do using, you know, this blue, this green, kind of this black. You can go smoky, you can go all matte. There's so many things that you can do with this, so I really appreciate that they gave you a lot of versatility. You can tell it was definitely designed by someone who knows and loves makeup. They kind of know what you're looking for in a palette. Um, and this to me was absolute money. I'm so happy with it. All the products that I used today will be listed in the drop down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And please do not forget to subscribe before you go so you don't miss any more videos with me. And until next time, bye.